Hi, I'm Jake Burkett from Grey Alien Games and this is our 8th developer vlog about Shadowhand. And today I'm going to talk about the new enemies that I've been adding into the game. So some of them are completely new enemies and some of them are enemies that have different variations. So I'll show you one of those first. So um, for the first uh, enemy in the game, uh, we have this rogue dude, which I will just find. Hang on a second. There we go. And he just fights with a knife, a basic knife like this. Uh, but later on in the game, he comes back and he's got different weapons. So you meet him in a jail. Let me just skip ahead to the right chapter here. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, so this time he comes back with a vicious knife. And he's also got uh, a, a bare fist that he can punch you with. So let's just charge up his weapons with a cheek key and uh, let him attack us a bit and we can see what happens. So yeah, he's got a punch. Actually, we deflected that because I've got a lot of sort of outfit items on at the moment. And he's got a vicious knife as well, which he uses in the other hand. The enemy also has a hurt stance. So most of the enemies have a standard sort of combat stance like this, a hurt stance and at least one attack, sometimes two. And sometimes they have a throwing stance as well. Anyway, this guy, he comes back later in the game um, on chapter 10, which I'm going to skip to now. Let's have a look. Okay. Um, yeah, so this time he's still got the same knife, but now he's actually got um, a leather brawling glove. So it's a similar sort of thing as before, but it shows kind of how we can use the same enemy um, with different weapons. Uh, I think, oh, there's one more instance of him as well, which I'm just going to find now. So right near the end of the game, uh, he turns up again. And this time he's got two knives, so he's pretty bad. One of the knives is a stiletto, which is very good at piercing. So uh, let's actually see him in action with that. Pretty vicious. So that's that's one of the new enemies. Another new enemy is a coachman and you first encounter him when you you hold up um, a posh couple and you steal some of their goods and uh, you know they set the coachman on you and then he turns up later in the game but powered up because I'll, I'll just show you let me skip to that uh, yeah so you meet him on Dartmoor later on and first you know, he, he sort of attacks you with a blunderbuss like this. But then uh, his sort of posh lady mistress um, tells him to go and get the dogs. So he comes back with uh, a dog. And a Dalmatian was actually a kind of common dog that was used uh, with coachmen. Though probably not sicked on people, but, you know, it's a game. So let's see that in action. I haven't programmed in the sound effects yet, but Power Up Audio have made us some great sounds for all the weapons and enemies, you know, the shouts that they make and um, and the attacks. And this dog's got a sort of a vicious yell. Let's uh, see if he... he just fired the blunderbuss. Let's see the dog in action. Yeah, pretty, pretty nasty. Let me actually... I'm going to go and take off this outfit because then we can see... Uh, more what the attacks actually look like. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Do, do, do. She's uh, left a bit unprotected here. Let's um, give her a weapon though. So, what about a nice blunderbuss and a decent sword? How about how about this silver sword? Okay. So yeah, after you encounter the coachman, again, he crops up later, right in the last chapter, actually. There's a huge amount of enemies in this game, something like 60, and there aren't many repeats. Most of them, if they are repeated, come back with different weapons, uh, and some of the enemies are unique, unique bosses um, as well. So let me find the coachman here. So this version of the coachman is different because it's a brutal dog, and you can see it's wearing a brutal spiked black collar here. Okay, so this is actually uh, Lady Cornelia Darkmoss' house, and uh, later on you fight a gamekeeper on this level. But before that, 
Uh, you fight the underkeeper. So we've sort of reused the coachman, but this time he's got a different outfit on and a beard, and he's got a different dog. So let's have a, um, have a look at them in action. So he might set the dog off first, I imagine. Yeah, not very nice. Uh, I think we'll give him a, a stab back. Yeah, he didn't like that. Okay, so that's an example of the coachman. Let's look at some other ones. So at one point in the game, well, we don't want to give too much plot away, but you do end up in jail. And there's a couple of different enemies in here. I think in previous videos I've shown the boss of the jail, which is the executioner. But we now we've added in a what we call uh, the broken bard. And uh, here he is. And he actually doesn't have any weapons because he's in jail but he claws you with his dirty fingernails and throws diseased rats at you uh, which is you know kind of a bit gross so um, let's have a look at those so I think he's going to try and claw us first which is not great yeah and we've got this lovely diseased rat here uh, which he can throw at you I think I'm going to cause him an injury so um oh he's pretty fast yeah so we're gonna look at another one now um in the pub because you know you've got to have a pub brawl in a game so we've got this cool pub scene and uh, there's several people here so we've got a sailor who pops up actually and if you beat them you get to take their coat and then after this, there's a, a male sailor. Um, he's actually called a sea tar. And he starts off with an axe, but later on he comes back with a boarding axe, which, which, which was a naval weapon and a gun. And later on a firebomb blunderbuss. And Helen's just written a blog post about that. So check that out on the blog. Um, and at the end of this chapter, you fight a boss. And the boss is the drunkard, who is... Um, hitting you with a hammer and he, as he goes along he also drinks various sort of equivalent of potions but they're strong drinks which give him you know extra attack power um, but also slightly inebriate him uh, let's see him in action so he spills his pint when he attacks um, and when he's damaged a little bit uh, so he's pretty cool Okay, that's it for now. Uh, so next video, I'll probably show off some more enemies. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.